Hello Taurus, Crystal Lynn here. Welcome to my channel, Tune Into Love. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am tuning in for a timeless message for you. See what your higher self, your spirit team, angels, guides want you to know at this time. I'm going to tune into the tarot and then pour, pull some oracle cards for you. <laughs> Thank you all so much for subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing the videos. I truly appreciate you for that. Um, I am offering personal readings again, so if you're interested, please do connect with me. The links are in the description. Um, and also have my Patreon page where I offer daily messages and my Etsy shop as well. So, woo, look at that. Strength flipped out, Taurus. That's beautiful. <laughs> really tuned into your inner strength, your inner integrity, your compassion, your perseverance, your, your courage, your bravery, whatever it is. Very much supported by the earth energy. Um, it's, it's beautiful. Let me give it a few shuffles here. I almost feel like this, um, beautiful friendship or kinship, like with the light and the shadow, you know, where it's like within it's like an understanding and clarity of who you are, really embracing and accepting yourself completely, you know, seeing it all as just beautiful life force energy and experiences and learning, seeing yourself at the core of who you really are not judging yourself anymore so that's really beautiful <laughs> let's see what's going on wow nine of cups see your wishes are fulfilled you've embraced the love and compassion within yourself and now your dreams and wishes are coming true taurus okay emotional look at this ace of cups pure true unconditional love just flowing in pure love true love life force energy you know overflowing being offered love offering love to others knowing that your wishes are fulfilled everything's happening coming true for you Look at this, Ace of Swords, wow. There's a, a clarity and epiphany that you're receiving. There's something here that's really cleared out and I feel like it has to do with the strength card that showed itself. You know, there's something here about really learning to accept yourself. Look at this, Eight of Wands. Beautiful, inspired communication between you and another. There's something here uh, where you're being asked to communicate to someone your inspired ideas your hopes, your dreams. You could also be receiving inspired communication, whatever it is, it's back and forth. Um, I feel like this is in the advice placement. So it's like, I feel like for you, this may, you may be feeling like reaching out to someone or um, sharing your inspirations with someone. And it's very successful. Like there's a very successful energy here of communication and the ideas growing, the inspired ideas, feeling very excited, very passionate. Oh my goodness, six of cups, soulmate energy beautiful just very um authentic easy equal aligned energy very loving i love the six of cups where the flowers are growing you know out of the cup it's just so beautiful you have all the resources you need everything's feeling very nurturing very loving and look at this the seven of swords on the bottom of the deck are you thinking this might be too good to be true <laughs> Are you thinking to yourself, this this energy is so good, like it's too good to be true. Please don't tell yourself that, Taurus. <laughs> don't tell yourself that. Tell yourself your wishes are coming true. Everything is unfolding. Yes, you've been calling this in for a long time. You've been manifesting this. So when it shows up, don't tell yourself it's not happening. <laughs> I know I've been there. It's, it's human. It's a totally human thing to do, okay? <laughs> Let's clarify these. That's why we need to affirm the energy. We need to affirm what we're feeling is true, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. I love all of you so much. Let's see what's going on. Nine of Cups. <laughs> Wish fulfillment. Okay. Hermit. So I feel like you've really been going within, like really tuning into your feelings. Um, it's allowed you to go within and you may need to go within right now and really tap into your wisdom. Really re remind yourself that everyone walks a different path. We all walk a different path. And when you know your path, when the, when the goodness starts showing up, you're like, yes, that's me. And you say yes to it. Um, a lot of times, you know, we're calling this in, we're wanting it, we're manifesting it. And when it arrives, we almost believe that it's not meant for us or it just feels so good or something like that. So I feel like there's a calling for you to go within yourself, to take some time to meditate, to spend some alone time with yourself, really journaling, maybe, you know, just tapping into your own wisdom, your experiences, what you've been through, knowing that you deserve exactly what you're asking for. Take your time, go slow. The hermit I always see is like 
you know, the older generation. So with wisdom and there comes patience, like you've been patient, you practice patience, good things come to those who wait sort of thing. However, it's like, you're not waiting. It's just unfolding. It's happening. And I feel like when you're not seeing it, even though you feel it, there's some sort of thoughts here that are, you know, you don't want to entertain these seven of swords thoughts because they're based in the illusion that it's not unfolding. It is unfolding. And that's what you know to be true. So there's this energy of going within and really honoring your own unique path, really honoring that your path is not like others. Sorry, there's uh, some maintenance people outside. <laughs> I may, I hope that's not too loud. Anyway, stay focused on um, really nurturing your wishes you know when you when you're focusing in on your dreams and your wishes unfolding don't allow thoughts to tell you that it's not right for you or that it's not happening instead go within and nurture the wisdom within you understand cause and effect understand that your path is not going to look like anyone else's and no one else no one else's path looks like yours and they can't feel what you feel you feel the emotional well-being and fulfillment of your dreams coming true they don't so this is about you affirming it for yourself, understanding your own path, your own wisdom and honoring it. Like, it's like, it's almost like you're the hermit in this picture always reminds me of like your higher self. And it's doing one step at a time, one day at a time in this, you know, every step that feels right for you is your path. If it doesn't feel right, it's not your path. And these thoughts, the seven of swords thoughts don't feel right. When they, when they show themselves, they don't feel right. They feel like they're trying to tell you your dreams can't come true and all of this. So that's not true. <laughs> you have to go within and really connect with your soul and affirm it. So like you're doing here, <laughs> look at this ace of cups, two of one, two of cups. So new love, new relationship, new partnership here. Um, maybe meeting someone that is truly the love of your life. Maybe this is a a special friendship. It could be a family member here with the six of cups. This is someone who is very intimately connected to you. And for a lot of you, this is a new partner, a new relationship, romantic partner, um, someone that you really see yourself with and for the long run. Okay. Really beautiful balanced energy, harmonious energy. So really focus on that. Oh my goodness. Be grateful for that. We have the wheel of fortune here with the Ace of Swords. So when you remind yourself that you're prosperous, when you remind yourself that you're in the flow of prosperity, love, abundance, that's when you feel that clarity. You're like, okay, that feels really good. That's right. And that's what inspires you to communicate, you know, your visions, your dreams, your truth, whatever it is. That's what allows you to stay focused in that thought train of communication, which is felt by those that you're meant to do life with your soulmates, right? They, they feel it on some unconscious level. So it's really important for you to just have that affirmed. You know, when you, when you begin thinking in terms of your prosperity, being in the flow of life, giving and receiving, um, give, being generous, all of these things, you, it's affirmed. You feel all of this beautiful energy surrounding you, the the clarity, the new ideas, the breakthroughs of, you know, programs and different things that may have detoured you in the past. So I feel like this is just a part of you really embracing your dream. It's, it's like the, um, the older thoughts or, or projections of others, like just trying to have one more, like, uh, see if it affects you in some way. Okay. <laughs> Eight of wands. We have the queen of wands. It kind of came upside down. Um, so I feel like this is, you know, it's, it's in the placement of advice here because of this passionate, beautiful energy. And this is a vision that you've been receiving for quite some time. It really inspires you. It really excites you. And I feel like you've had to go through some of the darker um, aspects of yourself or the shadowy realms where you've learned, you know, and if you haven't, it's like now's the time where you kind of get to discover more of that part of yourself, like revealing the wisdom that allowed you to 
really get in tune with your wishes unfolding and coming true. I feel like there's, you know, when you feel inspired communication to go ahead and communicate, um, there's, there's this clarity within you. And if you don't communicate your inspirations, if you don't communicate this passion, it can lead to frustration and irritation and anger and all of that because you're denying yourself what you feel and know to be true. So it's really important for you to express your inspired ideas, to communicate, to share, um, and to put it out there. You know, if you don't, you're only hurting yourself. Okay. And if you're feeding the seven of swords, if you're feeding the negative thoughts, that's what's going, it, it'll make you feel frustrated. You know, the queen of wands would be more like bitchy or cold hearted <laughs> type of energy, right? So you want to, um, just keep it real, communicate, share your inspirations, you know, it's like even just getting on social media and sharing things you're interested in or passionate about, it allows you an outlet of expression. Having a part, a person to talk to here with this two of cups, you can share your inspired ideas, your passionate ideas, what you want to do in the future. And there's an emotional well-being that comes with that, that allows you to feel very clear. You receive the divine insight. You feel like you're in the flow of the energy that's supporting you. Okay. And it's recognizing that your, you know, what supports you may not support another person, right? And that's where the seven of swords comes in. It's like, well, this is supporting me. It may not be supporting them. And so they may say, well, you can't do this. this isn't happening because they're, you know, for them, they're supposed to be focused on something else. So it's about you really understanding that and, and recognizing that we all receive inner guidance. We all receive the guidance to make the right choices that are you know, in alignment with us. And everyone has a different dream. Everyone has a different inspired idea and a different, you know, they want to do different things. So this is also showing me that you're really um, being guided into a <clears throat> part of yourself that allows you to manifest effortlessly, like really receive your visions effortlessly. Um, and to embrace, you know, the shadowy parts of yourself, like to see it all as very positive and how it contributes to you manifesting in the physical world, um, the unseen into the seen reality. Don't be afraid of what anyone else thinks. Um, and it's not something you have to go share, like how you receive the ideas. It's more like discussing or talking about or sharing your actual ideas. You know, it's like someone who's like, oh, I, I really want to become a potter. Like I like making pottery. You don't need to go explaining to everyone like how you got the idea or why you want to do it. You just start creating pottery and then you share the pottery. That's very similar to what's going on here. It's like there's someone that you'll be able to talk to. I feel like there's a, a partnership here, a friendship, very friendly, very loving. You see each other. So there's no concern about how anyone else is viewing you. Like you're going to be affirmed with the intimate person in your life or people in your life and you'll be able to just share your inspired um, manifested ideas like so freely. Okay. So if you're feeling any sort of energies of like frustration or just feeling kind of grouchy or whatever it is, just know that it's, you know, there's something inside of you that needs to be expressed and to focus on the love, you know, to focus on going slow and steady, taking your time. Don't entertain the, the negative thoughts or any sort of thoughts that are telling you otherwise. Okay. We have the page of cups here with the six of cups. So this is really beautiful. There could be, um, you just, it's like there's inspired ideas here. I even feel from children, family members, there could be an apology that needs to be made. Um, there's something here about really tuning into the heart and recognizing like the nurturing, loving qualities of life. Um, this could be, um, I, I'm, I keep hearing apology. There's some sort of apology that is maybe needed on both sides. However, this is, this has something to do with, um, you know, this person inspires your heart. There's there's an energy here of inspiration in the heart. There's a, a mutual love for one another that's truly timeless, unconditional. And whatever, um, maybe you want to share these ideas with your family or your friends. Um, and I feel like it's very successful. It's very loving. It's, very, it's received very well. The Page of Cups is very dreamy and um, very content in the simple things in life, right? And the page is receiving ideas. It's like, it's like seeing this fish in the cup and be like, oh my gosh, it's, it's like the energy of a child, you know, being at the coast and picking up shells. There's no real purpose to it other than enjoyment. And I just, I feel like there's a contentment here and being able to have people to dream with, even if the dreams never come true, like there's an energy of, of having people 
around you that feed and nurture the energy of love and dreams and hopes and wishes and also um, being very real about everything you know it's not like a fantasy or something that can never happen we we do our best every day to create whatever our dream we feel is and there's also so much more around us at play that we have no control over so it's our intention to be in that energy of always you know supporting each other and nurturing each other's dreams not with the expectation that they have to come true necessarily however why else would we do it right so I just feel like this is a really beautiful clearing. Um, it's like the people in your life really allow you to stay focused in the physical reality, in the present, doing what's right for you. Um, we have the Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords, and the Star. So there is definitely some... Um, there's something about you denying speaking your own truth, like really holding everything inside. I feel like there's this energy where you feel like you can't speak your truth. It's keeping you up at night. It's like negative thoughts that are making you feel self-conscious, not, not allowing you to be fully honest with yourself and expressing your ideas. Maybe you feel like you won't be accepted in some way. However, when, when you recognize that your truth is the alignment, you know, this is your truth. It's the clarity. It's the truth. That's what allows us to be in the flow of the wheel of fortune, the prosperous energy. Um, when we're in our, when we're not speaking our truth, when we're entertaining thoughts of others, these are all other people's projections, all other people's, um, whatever that we've taken personal that we're trying to, um, run away with whatever it is or hide in our bed at night, or we feel like we can't speak. We're surrounded by, you know, judgments and opinions, um, or regrets or sadness or whatever it is like there's. There's been a lot of healing here. I feel like there's a clarity here with you and healing and seeing yourself as the beautiful star that you are, as the beautiful um, infinite soul being that you are, you're a family member, you're, you are love, you know, and I, I love this because I feel like there's such a, a wonderful epiphany that you're going to have when you realize, or if you haven't already, you know, it, how they're just thoughts, you know, the thoughts that were in your mind that's all they were. And it doesn't mean that's who you are or, um, you know, they don't have any control over you. I really see you, Taurus, um, listening to your body, your intuition, very intuitive, the Queen of Wands is. So if you're not listening to your intuition, it can make you feel a bit off, right? Especially during this time of, you know, inspiration and passion and communication. It's very exciting. It's very easy to have these types of talks and discussions because they're they're so natural back and forth like you would with a soulmate um, or a two of cups energy. So you're having, you have a lot of affirmation around you. That's really allowing you to um, let go of these negative thoughts, whatever they are. It's like, you know, they're not who you are. You know, they're not serving you. And it's almost as if the universe came in and is just healing you through the people that you're connected with. They're affirming to you that, you know, everything's okay. You're not crazy. You know, you're just going through life. And the more you focus on, you know, your family, the people in your life that you love, um, partnership, children, all of that, and, and going within yourself, like to really fulfill your dreams. It's just simply a matter of you really being in alignment with yourself, Taurus, really listening to the wisdom within you, you know, going one step at a time, even if you can't see the whole picture, one day at a time, one step at a time, one step in authentic love, the next in authentic love, whatever that means to you. Um, and, I feel like here there's like new, um, new ideas that are really inspiring your heart. And, and I feel like they're connected to your family, like very close people. So it's really beautiful. Okay. Keep your, keep yourself focused in wishes and your wishes coming true, your hopes coming true. Um, when you feel this energy of feeling stuck in your head or, you know, not knowing what to do, let go. Don't be so hard on yourself. Okay, don't lie to yourself and tell yourself that you're okay when you're not. Instead, you know, focus inward on your heart, nourish yourself, whatever you need to do. Be grateful for those in your life. And I feel like you can share. There's so much you can share with those around you and it's, it's truly beneficial, okay? I'm going to tune in here to the Sacred Nature Reflections deck. My new Oracle deck, get a poem for you here. Oh, look at this. I love this. It almost looks like an eagle or something. Um, it's like it's in a rock formation. 
and it's it the way that the image turned out it's a mirror reflection obviously but the way it turned out it's like i think this was the image i can't remember but i flipped it and the way that it comes through as an eagle is so powerful almost like looking out of a cave this is really beautiful <laughs> see what it says victory celebrate shine create space for victory you are truly free you are wise, noble, kind, embodying peace, fire, wisdom, comfort, relief. Celebrate yourself. Enjoy all the new. Your fire looks absolutely stunning on you. Shine. Victory, celebrate, shine. I love this, especially with the fire energy here. Maybe you were a little bit afraid of your fire and passionate energy, you know, because you are more usually grounded in the earth and, um, fire is you know it's not as dense as the earth energy it's more spontaneous it's you know and so it's good to take your time and you know feel into the fire so that I almost feel like it's like you're very mindful how you don't want your fire to burn those around you and I love it it's like there's a um it's like you had to have a recognition of what was causing that feeling and, and realizing it's just false beliefs and thoughts that aren't serving you anymore. They are rooted in the perceptions and judgments of other people that have nothing to do with your dream uh, moving forward. So there's been a lot of healing here or embracing of healing and really, um, you know, the star comes after the tower. So it's like you, you reach a point where you realize like these thoughts aren't serving you and they never will. And so what can you do? Instead, you focus on what you can do. You focus on the positivity and, you know, that being in alignment with your joy and supporting energies, you know, supporting talks, supporting words, life affirming words. Okay. And I just love this. It's, you know, shine. It's time for you to shine and let your fire be seen. And I love that this is all rock because it's like you can't really burn rocks unless it's super hot, right? So <laughs> it's just like there's a lot of um, beautiful symbology in here for you. Let me just put this over here. Okay, let's see what the angels want you to know, Taurus. Let your past go. The burden of carting your past around has made you weary, dear one. It's time to set this burden down, keep only the lessons and the love, and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it, and it's now gone. So I do feel like these thoughts that you've been having, um, it could be rooted in the past, like, you know, regret or wishing you could have done something differently or... Um, feeling hurt by something someone else said to you that wasn't a true reflection of who you are um, or just feeling like you couldn't share your truth because of judgment or whatever it is like there's an energy here of really being able to let your past go um, the more that you embrace the love that you have right now in front of you the love that's in your heart the true love partnerships and family um, those who truly love you accept you for who you are and no matter what inspired ideas you have there you're always accepted you're always loved you're always supported and whatever that is okay so letting go of the burdens of the past is really going to give you that feeling of contentment and well-being um, and trusting that everything that you're desiring is truly manifesting for you. Okay. It's unfolding all in perfect time for you. And I feel like it brings you closer to those you love, you know, closer to your intimate partners, your friends, your family, your children, um, whomever is really close to you. It really brings that closeness. And it also brings, um, you know, beautiful, emotionally fulfilling ideas that you can share together. Nurture yourself, Mother Mary. Isn't that beautiful? Nurture yourself. I'm just feeling that very nurturing, loving family energy. Let me see what the card says. Let's see what the message is. <clears throat> wow. It may be that you spent a lot of time taking care of others in the past, and so... This is a part of you really learning how to nurture yourself first and foremost and giving yourself the time and energy to do that and um, seeing how far you've come, you know, not allowing the past thoughts to hold you back from embracing this beautiful nurturing energy that you really are and in moving into, you know, sharing with others in a beautiful way. Okay, it says you've given a lot of yourself lately and now it's time to give something to yourself. You've drawn this card because you need to nurture yourself. This means taking good care of your body, 
through sleep, detoxification, and exercise. It also means taking care of your needs as you would for others. To have more energy, abundance, peace, purpose, and everything that you desire, nurture yourself. Balance giving to others with receiving for yourself. Honor your inner voice, get some rest. Take care of your body, nurture your inner child. Your life purpose involves helping children. Mother Mary is with you, helping and guiding you. Okay, so this is really beautiful energy. It's a very um, nurturing, motherly energy, and I feel like there is a call here to really pay attention or become aware of how you take care of yourself. Um, how you take care of others is how you take care of yourself. So if you're feeling good about how you nurture others, you should feel really good about how you nurture yourself. And if you've been um, avoiding taking care of yourself the way that you feel you need, um, it's like just really tuning into how you nurture, you know, it's like when you nurture yourself the way that you deserve, you naturally nurture others the way they deserve. It's like you can tune into your own feelings, intuition, and respond to what you need in that moment. And when you do that with yourself, it allows you to just intuitively know what others need. And it's recognizing that nurturing yourself again with the hermit card here. It's different for everyone. Sometimes someone just needs a hug. Sometimes another person's just fine. They don't need anything. You know, it's like really learning to respond to others and yourself in the present moment. It's always changing. You know, for the most part, we're usually pretty good, right? <laughs> so I feel like, you know, these thoughts, whatever this is, it's really rooting from you not taking care of yourself properly, not giving yourself the love and nurturing energy that you desire. So take care of yourself the way you wish someone else would take care of you right now really give that to yourself. So you're, you know, it's like treating yourself as your own child, you know, take the time you need, relax, take a nap, you know, don't, don't feel like you have to do the dishes today, you know, just really allow yourself, you know, even if you have to tell yourself, I'm taking some self care days for a few days and it's not out of, you know, you're not taking away from anyone else. In fact, you are an example for others to take care of themselves. If we all nurtured ourselves and took care of ourselves the way we do everyone else, we'd probably all be in a lot better place, right? We're more independent. We know what to do. We don't need to rely on others so much. So as wonderful as it is to nurture others, maybe you have children and you've been taking care of children and now for the first time, you actually have time to take care of yourself. <laughs> Whatever it is, however it resonates with you, you know, allow this energy of Mother Mary to, you know, nurture you and hold you and just comfort you in whatever way you need. You know what's best for you. Just do it. You don't need anyone's permission. You have Mother Mary's permission, okay? <laughs> you have your higher self telling you, affirming for you right here, okay? It's going to allow you to really um, be in your heart and not in your head and that allows everything to flow just so effortlessly, okay? That's what brings in this clarity and the wheel of fortune. You feel yourself in the flow. This new beautiful relationship here, you could be offering love to someone else. Um, it's just something to be aware of. You may be wanting to offer your cup to another, okay? <laughs> it's really beautiful. From the energy oracle, the world, look at that. So this is a whole new cycle for you. You know, I feel like you're moving into a whole new phase of your life. Um, very connected within yourself after some healing and some, it's like you're, you're going within and healing yourself. And then re, when you reconnect with your soulmates or the, the children in your life or the parents, the family, like there's something here where you're naturally now like in your, in your generous spirit, it, there's, you know, it's like you had to go within and address some things that had nothing to do with anyone else. Really. It allows you to really focus and feel that intimate connection with others. So effortlessly where you're just, you know, you're, you're sharing your heart so beautifully and there's an innocence to it here. It's like, there's no overdoing or underdoing. It just feels very good. And I feel like this has been a long time coming for you. Okay. It's, it's why your thoughts may be, um, causing doubt or concern within you because for so long, you know, you've wanted things to feel really good and, and it felt like maybe a struggle for a while. It's like, is this ever, and then, and now it's unfolding and you're like, well, I don't know. <laughs> Can I trust this? So as you, as you continue focusing on nurturing yourself, that allows you to let go of the past very easily. And the world here is embracing, you know, expansion of your consciousness, expansion of your reality, expansion of your relationships. And it doesn't necessarily mean like, 
you know, the whole world's at your doorstep, but it kind of is like, it gives you, it opens you up to being able to connect with anything you want to, anything you want to. Um, it's like you have freedom to explore your inspirations and your ideas in the safety of your own comfort. You know, it's like, there's no have to or need to. It's just when you feel inspired, you're like, I can do that. I can do that. Oh, you got, you guys want to go do this? Sure. Let's do it. You know, it's like, there's no fear of doing or trying new activities or having, you know, meeting new people. Um, because you know that you're only going to really be connected with those you're meant to. There's, there's like this letting go of need and, um, feeling like you've got to manifest things. It's like, there's this energy of just knowing that you're right where you're supposed to be and everything's manifesting for you effortlessly. Okay. Um, create space for victory. You are truly free. You know, that's about what you're creating space for is just your, your own contentment and enjoyment. And it's allowing you to move forward in your life in such a beautiful way and being able to see the world from a new perspective and how you contribute to the beauty of the world. It's really, you know, it brings a lot of peace and contentment to your heart and opens up so much where your mind can just receive those ideas that are right for you. Those inspired thoughts that are just meant for you so that I feel like there was just too much too many people's perspectives and it was it was difficult for you to see your own truth or feel your own truth and you know what you need to do by nurturing yourself and it's all it's all coming true <laughs> it's all coming true this is really beautiful Taurus I truly hope this message is resonating let's see what the divination of the ancients want you to know dousing rods seeker so again, I feel like this is letting you know that, you know, your intuition, your instincts are what guide you. And when you're in alignment with them, everything feels good. There's no um, thoughts that, that are distorted or discerning about it. There's no like, well, I don't know about this. Um, you're, when, you, when you can affirm your own body and your own knowing, and this comes through wisdom and experience. So, you know, you have wisdom here that you can offer children. You have wisdom here that is, you know, through your own experience as the seeker, you know, seeking out a life that's right for you. And um, maybe you've lived in different locations. Maybe you've gone on different adventures. Maybe you've tuned into different ways of divining. Maybe you've even done dousing rods. You're familiar with energy. Like there's something here where you've had experience feeling what's right for you and what isn't. And so right now is that time to really listen to your body. You know, your body's speaking very clearly to you. It's, it's not about being in your head. That's where when you get in your head, it, it kind of distracts you from what's going on. I feel like this is really connecting you to your body, the world, um, your relationships, your partnerships that are soulmates, that are loving, that are kind, that are, you know, very fulfilling to your, your life force, your well-being, okay? Um, let me see what the message is in this. Um, let me just see what it is, if there's anything to add to this. The dousing rods have sought you out to announce that your search is almost over. You have spent a long time looking in the wrong places. Now is the moment to sense through your heart using the natural elements as your guide. Doing so will point you in the right direction. Walk your path of destiny, aware of the signs in the flow of water beneath your feet, in the depths of the earth. Create no attachments to the path of others, for they may lead you to far more barren lands. You seek your path and they seek theirs. Nature will guide you, so get out, of, out in it and seek out the watering holes, the streams and rivers, and find what you need in their reflections. I seek it here, I seek it well, but still I ask, where doth it dwell? The answer I find is flowing within and all around me. The streams and lakes manifest all I can be. So this is about seeking, you know, and finding your own path through your own intuition, your own feelings, through your own experiences, what you know is right for you. You just like feel it in your body and not giving up. Don't give up because the only thing that's causing doubt in your mind or telling you to give up at any time are these very deceptive thoughts that are not true to your path. These thoughts may be true to others' paths, but they're not true for your path. That's why you're being called to go into hermit mode, really tap into your wisdom. You can feel in your body what's true for you. If you make a statement out loud and ask if it's true for you, your body will either, you know, feel like, yes, this is true, or it will like constrict. It will like it want to expand like the world if it's true for you. And if it's not, it will want to like restrict. Okay. And you have to ask yourself, is this restriction the thought that's causing it? And and do it a few times. Like 
don't say, do I want this or anything like that? Try more so like feeling into, you know, it's like if you, if you're going traveling, for instance, you could put, write down a few places you may have always wanted to travel, Hawaii, Mexico, Japan, and it's just like a pick a card or anything like that. It's like letting go of judgment, letting go of anyone else's thoughts and allowing your body to feel what's right for you. You kind of already have an idea, you know, of what your desires are, what your likes and interests are. So as you hone in on that, it's like allowing yourself to really feel what's right for you so that wherever it is that you are, you know that it's because you made the right choices for yourself. And then that eliminates the need to even explain yourself or anything. It's just like you knew it, you felt it, you acted on it, and now you're happy where you want to be, okay? It's just like, you know, any sort of soulmate relationship or parent-child relate. No one has to tell you, you know, that you love your child, right? <laughs> you don't have to explain it to anyone. It's just a known thing. And then it's affirmed through, you know, how you, when you see each other and, and caring about each other's feelings and all of that. So when you feel and really trust your own um, compass, your own guidance, your own instincts, your own intuition, the affirmation of, of your life is affirmed so much more easily, okay, by everything that's around you. So don't give up. Whatever this is, don't give up, okay? Really listen to your body. Okay, Taurus. I'm going to leave the message there. I truly hope it resonated and brought you the affirmation, um, guidance moving forward that supports you and just encourages you to continue being your amazing self, trusting yourself. Thank you all so much for subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing as well. If you're interested in a personal reading, I am offering those again, so you can find the links in the description. Um, also my Patreon, where I do offer daily messages, and my Etsy store. So with that, beautiful Tauruses, thank you so much for being you, for tuning in. I look forward to the next message that comes through for all of you. Take very good care of yourselves, extra good nurturing care of yourselves, and I will see you again very soon. All my infinite love as always. Peace.